So you're looking to find out how to put captions on a video a quick and easy way. So instead of actually doing it manually and typing out everything and having to do all that and all these weird settings, I'm going to show you how to do it the quick and easy way in Adobe Premiere. Dope. What's poppin' everybody? My name is Danny Matthews and I'm gonna make your life so much easier. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere. All right guys, so once you're in Adobe Premiere, what you're gonna wanna do is come over here to Windows and go over to Workspace and come over here where it says Caption and Graphics. Go ahead and click on that. It's gonna bring you into this window here. On the left, you're gonna have a bunch of different options with, you wanna find the window that says Text. Now they don't make this as intuitive as they used to be. It used to be like a caption where it was just a window that you could add on. But in this new update, they have a whole nother place for it. So this is really cool where you can come in here and go ahead and hit transcribe sequence over here you can select the language even which is actually crazy what you can do here is go ahead and do audio on track and make sure that you have the right layer picked which we have this on voiceover you can also transcribe it into out points which is actually what we're going to do so i'm going to go ahead and transcribe from into out and it's going to merge output with existing transcript so here we have merge output with existing transcript transcript say you already have a transcript on there it's going to merge with that you don't want to select that it's going to create a whole new one so don't even have to worry about it recognize with different speakers are talking and that's exactly what you want to have in case there's two different ones if there's not then don't even worry about that i would just turn it off so it's so confused go ahead to hit transcribe it's going to do its little thing it's going to go ahead and transcribe exactly what you are saying and you can see here that it has everything and it's really cool because you can even watch this back and watch it live right there it's absolutely amazing and this they really buffed this thing it used to be they never even had this transcribe but this does amazing job. It finds words that don't even like transcribe things won't even find these words. And it already has it in the dictionary, which is really awesome, as well as Adobe Premiere, obviously. All right, and so how you create this into a caption and put this onto the video, what you're gonna do is go over here to CC Kilo's caption. It's gonna open up this window. It says create from sequence transcript, create blank track. We got all of these different things. There's a lot going on. You guys can actually experiment with this. The default is honestly really good just to start with, with the maximum the duration the gap they do a really good job with the default settings so i would just stick with those hit create and it's going to go ahead and create those captions it's going to put exactly where all of it's timed which is really helpful for you you guys won't have to put in the effort to do it but now this is the place where we're going to go ahead and change all of the creative portion of it also side note they have this really cool thing where you have check spelling and they have different things on here where you can just kind of experiment with it because you can actually export this as a csv a text file and you can have that and use it for say a blog if you want to do something like that. So if you wanted to change the details on this caption, what you're going to have to do is come over here to your right and under edit in your essentials graphics panel. You can go ahead and change the font to whatever you want it to be. Go ahead and change it to whatever font you want to have. You can also change the fill, the shadow, the background, all of that. I take off the shadow and everyone usually has a nice background. That way you can just see the contrast between the two. And you have these different settings. This first one's going to do the transparency of the background. This second one's going to be how close it is on the text. So you usually want to give some space. And a lot of new videos you probably have seen this has these rounded corners on these. And in my opinion, it really adds a lot to it. It. So guys, you can go ahead and just change the little details that you want to have in here. And that is how you're going to stylize any kind of caption for your video. And if you guys want to create a style where it goes to all of the captions in your video, because you don't want to do this for each individual one, what you're going to do is come over here to track style and you can go ahead and create a style and say, we're just going to call this uh, style one hit. Okay. And you can see over here on the bottom left, it opens up in your elements panel and you can see it's right here. But the cool thing is it actually applies it to all of your captions. You don't have to change anything at all. So guys, that's how you do captions the easy way in Adobe Premiere. Literally, this is going to save you so much time from trying to do it any kind of other way. This is going to save you so much time, especially because in the old way, we had to type out all of our captions in each individual one and also like the duration of how long it is and all that. And this does all the dirty work for you. And it looks really good because you can stylize it the way that you need it. Make sure to check out one of these videos, guys, if you enjoyed this and you learned something. You'll definitely learn something from the other videos that I've made. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.